Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the last in our projects from our series from What Did I Get for £25 in Oliver Bonus. Now, I'll share you a funny story in a minute, but today we're going to be making this cute little basket. We're going to call it a treat basket and I've even got some treats to one side just over there to put in, not this one, but the one that hopefully will get right when we make it up and I'll, I'll explain all in a minute and it sits like that on its side and when you stand it up it's quite deep in fact when I first looked at this I thought it looked a bit like a skip with a handle on it but it's not a skip it's a basket but if you want to call it a skip you can I won't be offended but it's quite deep inside so you'll get quite a lot of treats if you don't put tissue paper in you'll get quite a lot of treats in here so it's up to you whether you put tissue paper in. We'll put some in the one that we're going to make together at the end. And so I'll show you. Well, I'll show you what's happened so far. When I say what's happened, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Well, first of all, you need a piece that measures nine by nine inches. Now, this is the wrapping paper from or one of the wrapping papers that I got in my stash. Now, I've already tried this video once and it was going swimmingly till the very end. And then I said, something I sort of misspoke and it came out completely wrong and I thought I can't put that on there I'll get centered so it came out different and so I've started again but I'd already cut it so what we need to do it's ever so easy I'll just talk you through what I've done before I messed up and hopefully we'll get it right this time or hopefully I'll get it right this time so we need a piece of nine by nine inches square on the back this is just well, actually, this is watercolour paper, but if you want to use card, anything 220 GSM and above will be fine. And we scored it at three inches and six inches. And then I rotated it once and I've scored it again at three inches and six inches. So we've got three or nine equal squares, which measure three inches. And then on this side, we have cut up to the first score line there. We've done that there and we've cut up to the first score line there. So we've got two slits or four slits if you like, but two are opposite each other. So you put your slits on the opposite. So right, we'll try and get it right this time. Well, I will try and get it right this time. So what we do is we need to fold in our, our score lines like that. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm using tacky glue, I'm going to put some glue on this middle panel like that and it doesn't matter which one you take first because it'll look the same and I'm going to aim for that to be roughly in the middle and what you're aiming for is these points to be coming together and you put the middle one at the back. So I'm just going to put on our second one I'm just going to put a little bit more glue because that won't have any glue on it. And what we do is we just manipulate that into place. Just once you've got the glue on, manipulate it until those two points come together like that. So once that's come together, this will, it will a bit, tacky glue, as I'm sure you know, is a bit splodgy. So just give it a wipe. It'll give it a bit of extra strength and it'll dry clear anyway. So by the time we're done, by the time all this is dry, you won't see it, so don't worry about it. I'm certainly not going to. So we'll take all the splodges away, but they will dry anyway, so we won't worry. Now, if you're really worried about that coming apart, I'm not particularly, but if you are, what you can do is grab yourself a bit of sticky tape and pop it over the edge. I will this time because this is my second time and it's already had glue in it once. It might be a bit gungy. So that will hold that nicely like that. So we're going to spin that round. I'm going to lay it down so that you can see what I'm doing this time. So fold that bit in. Fold these bits out just for a minute. And the central, central panel, you put some nice, a nice coating of tacky glue all over it. And you take it so that the point runs through the middle like that. And then again, on the other side, take some glue to cover the bit that didn't get any glue on it the first time. 
because this is going to go over the top so obviously there's no glue so we'll pop that there bring that over and bring our points until they meet like that and that's how we get our shape and again if you're worried actually that bit's stuck better than the first one but if you are worried again just pop a bit of tape on it like that just put a bit of sticky tape just to hold it until it dries it doesn't matter you can keep the sticky tape on because you're not going to see it we won't need glue anymore so that's how it looks so far that's how our basket looks so far don't worry about the glue and then we need a handle and the handle measures 10 by one inch now if you want it a little bit longer you can make it 12 by one if you wish but i found that 10 by one is enough and on the underside i've got some foam pads and i'm going to stick those on the outside so just where that point is stick your your handle there then bring it over and just bend it over like that and pop it on the other side like that now if you're happy to keep that like that that's absolutely fine we'll just get rid of that glue i've got glue all over my fingers so i am making a right unholy mess here but that's all right now if you want to cover those joins you can now from one of the greeting cards i got in our stat in our stash i cut out a couple of the flowers so i'm just again i've got foam tape on or foam pads on the back so i'm just going to stick one there turn it over and i've got another one also with a foam pad on there oh, oh that actually that one's not very sticky probably because i took it off so i'm just going to run a bit of red runner tape on it just to give it a bit more stick but it's only for decoration it's not bearing any weight so it doesn't matter it doesn't need to be strong and there we go guys there is our little basket there is our gift our treat basket as we're going to call it now you could put tissue paper in here if you want to so i've just got a piece of pink tissue paper so pop that in i've even got some treats to put in it so i've got some ferrero rocher our favorites so guess what we're, we're having for our tea this evening or with our tea this evening if they make it till this evening which i very much doubt that they will so you can put your treats in like that now if you want to put more treats in don't add any tissue paper so i won't risk putting any more than that so there you go there are our treats and if i carefully hold it there oh that's okay they can fall out that's no problem and there is our treat basket all finished so there you go guys that completes our project series or in the projects in this series but when I pop back tomorrow, I'll be showing you the rest of the sequin cards. And now when I say sequin cards, I know so many of you loved that tiger card. So I mean these ones. So this is the fox. So when you do that, he changes colour. So I'll, I'll pop back quickly tomorrow and show you what else they've got in store with our sequin, our magic sequin cards. So until then, I hope you've enjoyed this project and indeed you have a go yourself. It's so quick and easy. And I will add all of the measurements, including the sizes and the cutting and the scoring in the description down below. Just click on the more, which there's a little word that says more below this video. Just click on it and it will drop down. It, it will expand and you'll see the measurements. There aren't very many, but it'll just give you a quick reminder. So I hope you've enjoyed this one and I hope you can join me tomorrow for our quick flip through of the magic sequin cards. And I'll see you then. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Do take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.